All right, everybody. So we're going to go over the install that we put in tonight. Uh, this is a video after the fact, after practice, but it gives you a little bit of an idea as to what we were working on with our pressures tonight. Okay, as a reminder, we always uh, have to do a better job of communicating. Okay, so our alignment, our assignment, our stance and key, it's got to get better. All right, so our linebackers have to first recognize fronts recognize formations and get us in the proper alignment we need to communicate that loudly and verbally for our defensive line then we have to be able to pick up our assignment get in our stance recognize our key and go okay and so this evening we worked on a, a couple of our monster blitzes so our monster blitz is our blitzes are an offshoot of the package um, in halloween <clears throat> what does that mean same basic rules as the vampire pressures. Uh, what we're talking about is a six-man blitz. That means we should be in some form of black coverage. We're going to get banana peel players that are on our C-gaps. Okay? And um, that's really it. So we just have to know where to align and where to attack on each of these pressures. And so the two we worked on this evening, uh, and we'll review tomorrow at practice, our Eagle Sandman. Okay, Sandman is an A-gap pressure. Um, it's a double A-gap blitz. If you look at it, it's got similar concept to stake, okay, in that we're getting our mic and our will in the A-gaps. The difference is that this is what's known as a cross dog or crossfire blitz, okay? And so we're going to play off the center um, and prey on his uh, – turn and be able to shave tight to be able to get up into those a gaps underneath the presence of the running back okay and so here's what we're looking to do when we call it eagle sandman we are looking to take whichever side the nose is aligned to okay or the two eye whichever player whether it be the tackle or the nose depending on the front <clears throat> that linebacker to that side is going to start the pressure okay so here's a scenario where we're in two by two to the field we're going to be in an eagle call okay so this is eagle sandman sandman being play the guitar okay think of metallica and what we're going to do is we know that the two eye is here okay so the will is going to creep to head up to inside shade of the two eye what we want to do is give the center and guard um, the, the notion that the A gap and B gap are going to be attacked by these two. Okay. And so what happens is as the, as the ball is snapped, the nose is going to work hard into B gap. All right. So he's in a bad boy here. The will, in this case, the player that has worked down over the two eye is going to rip cross face of the center to the opposite A gap. And as he goes, because of his depth, he's closer to the line of scrimmage from slightly further depth. The mic is going to shave his back tail feathers. I mean, he wants to be super close. And he's ripping to the opposite side of the center and getting vertical. Okay. So obviously what we're doing is we're making the center wrong based on which way he moves. If he stays to the front side to pick up the mic, the will should win. Ultimately, if the will crosses his face, if he opens to the will, okay, we should be working tight to the center's hip and getting up and vertical. So we're not looking to create lots of space in here. We want to shave it tight, okay, and make the center wrong because he can't get two. Here's an example of the pressure. All right, it's going to be a little hard to see, um, but this is something that you can definitely go back and watch. All right, so... And there it is. Okay, again, we can watch what happens. You're going to get this linebacker who's kind of stacked on the two eye. He's going to work cross face of the center. This off linebacker here is going to rip opposite cross face of the center. And he's going to be home free. So you can kind of see what that looks like right there as the nickel, um, or the two eye rather, <clears throat> works into B gap. And this linebacker works across the face. You can see the opening coming. And there it is. Okay, one more time. Watch this, these two. There it is. Parting of the sea. 
Okay, the next one is um, Eagle Boogeyman. Okay, Boogeyman. Now, here's some important aspects to this pressure. Okay, we want to call Boogeyman. We want to attack a guard. So we're working to a guard. So now in game plan, we can see on film that their left guard is weak. And maybe that's the direction we're calling Boogeyman. But for now, what we want to do is we want to set <clears throat> the strength of the front away from the running back. Okay. And so here's what we want to do. I'm going to change that. We want to set the front in this case to the left. Okay. So now auto... You know, luckily for us, it's a field call here, right? And the running back is formation into the boundary. He's based into the boundary, okay? But if the running back were to the field, we'd want to be in a hawk look, right? We want to set the nickel. I keep saying nickel. We want to set the 2i into, um, you know, here to the field and then set the three technique to the boundary. So right now, again, we want to set the front away from the running back. So the nose is in the 2i. Okay, um, important. We want to try to keep the Mike's a gap presence or the opposite linebackers a gap presence as long as possible. Okay, you can kind of prowl and get out because we want the center's attention on the mic. All right. Now, these two players, okay, the end and the jack are going to be working our banana peel. So they're hard outside players. As the ball is begins, uh, the cadence begins. We're going to walk our will just a little bit, okay? And on snap, he's going to attack the head up to inside shoulder of the guard, okay? What we want to happen is we're looking for half slide with man on the backside. So ultimately, the tackle should be working man on the jack. The guard should be working to slide to get man on the nose as he's working his pe penetration step and cross the face of the center. So the nose should be working step to penetrate, cross the face. As that happens, the will is going to shave tight. If the guard blocks down into a gap, the will is going to rub the outside shoulder of the guard and stay underneath the running back up to the quarterback. The mic is going to, um, on cadence, move a little bit. On the snap, he's following and he's ripping to the high side of the running back. So ultimately what we're looking to do is make the running back wrong because he can only get one of these two players. Okay, you get a really good look at Eagle Boogeyman right here. What I want you to focus on is um, the blitz is gonna come right through this gap. They're gonna attack this guard and this running back. Okay, and so the key here is the mic stays in A gap to alert or to make sure that the center is a stepping to A gap, okay? And the nose is heavy in B gap, and as he work uh, in his opposite A gap, excuse me, and as he steps and goes across face, he's going to pull the guard with him. So take a look at what this looks like when it's run to perfection. And there it is. Okay, so really nice job by the will here as he takes the inside shoulder of the running back, forcing uh, his partner, the Mike, to be able to scrape to the outside shoulder right there. Okay. So the, the running back can only get one. So he's going to rip to the inside shoulder. And that means the, the Mike can shave him and get to the, uh, get North up on the quarterback and get a contact on him, forcing an overthrow. Okay. So that is it on, um, you know, Eagle Sandman and Eagle boogeyman. And we'll work on those again tomorrow.